All right, well, you've probably seen the parts washer in a previous video, um, but I went ahead and put it to work washing all of the 820 pony motor parts. Um, <clears throat> here are the finished results, or some of the finished results. Um, I have, I've cleaned all of the pistons, and um, the pistons look good. I will have to go in, and you can see those dings on the top there, if I could get it to focus. Um, I will need to go in and file that out. Um, there's a couple of them like that. Uh, so interesting enough, once I got them cleaned up, um, they are all the same casting number. And you actually can see what cylinder they came of. So this one's four. And the camera really just does not want to focus. I don't know if you can see the four right there. Um, so that's kind of nice, the fact that you can actually see it. There's three right there that's the JD and that's three um, they're all F three three zero zero R I think that's what they are um, so that's one and this would be two um, yeah F three three zero zero R so if some of these are okay some of the pistons are okay I have to I still have to get the mics out I don't know where my micrometers are I uh, also went ahead and got the lifters out because I've been working on the engine. Um, so that is basically the pistons and the rocker arms and um, the lifters and everything. That's on that tray right there. That's in order just like they need to be uh, cleaned up the head bolts, etc. And then we have back here, we have all of our other parts. We've got the gear cover. Um, We've got the uh, valve covers, uh, oil pump, water pump, uh, bottom cover of the engine, and then we have the two heads. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with how the heads turned out. Uh, I left the valves in. As I said uh, in a previous video, I was going to leave the valves in. Um, and just because I don't, I don't want to fool with the valves, really. Um, now, obviously, with a little compression, it makes sense to pull the valves out. Um, but that's a risk I'm willing to take, so I'm going to leave the valves in for right now. Um, but overall, the heads look pretty good uh, after I got them cleaned up. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with everything. Um, there is still some residual oil on everything. Um, mostly uh, just because I don't need to get it 100% clean, but I would like it somewhat clean. Um, so here's where we're at on the table. Um... Here is the engine block. I've got it. I've got it a lot cleaner than it was. Um, I think right now the, the hard part for this project is going to be the fact that I have to order a new hone. Um, the hone I have is not, uh, does not go small enough. So I have to order a new hone for this. Uh, I'll get, and I also don't have any, um, Click gauges. I, I don't. I'll have to get my bore bore gauge out. I've got to find it. I've got a couple other things that I need to find. Um, but yeah. So here the head gaskets came off of it and everything. Um, I think we're moving right along with this project. Uh, this will be a pretty short video, just mostly because I didn't show you anything that I was actually doing. Uh, but you can see the engine blocks a lot cleaner. Got some of that oil um, off of it. What I'm gonna. What I intend to do. Um, is I intend to, after I've honed the cylinders, I'm just going to set this whole engine block into the parts washer and just wash it uh, that way. Um, and I may, uh, I'm not really happy with the fluid in the parts washer right now. Uh, it's okay, it does a pretty good job, but um, it's not, uh, I think I'd prefer clean mineral spirits or something like that to really make sure I get all the debris out of this engine um, before I put it back together. So, uh, overall, Pretty happy with progress. Um, I like my parts washer. I think that'll come in handy. Uh, probably why I wait on my hone to come in. I need to order it. Um, and I mean, that shouldn't be more than 20, 30 bucks, I, I would hope. Um, while I'm waiting on that, I'll probably, the next video will be of draining the oil out of the crankcase on the tractor itself. Uh, that way I can start working on cleaning out the crankcase. Because um, I told you there was a bunch of uh, to, you know, just sludge on the bottom of the crankcase, so it'll make me happy to uh, clean all that out. So, anyway, hopefully, um, 
I'm not falling too far behind here in my videos and making progress. So uh, thanks for watching.